Now, something I'm also a fan of doing is using what is a drone guitar. So this is just the same guitar. I think it's on like the neck pickup or something like that. So it's a bit softer and not as harsh. Um, and I play, I think, a couple of notes, but it's just a quarter note pattern or an eighth note pattern. Um, I think it's an eighth note. We'll listen in a second. Uh, and I, I just lather it in reverb, have the pre-delay set really short, and pre-delay on reverb is simply the time between the dry signal and the reverb being triggered. If you set the pre-delay to zero, um, it will instantly uh, trigger the reverb as soon as the uh, signal hits the reverb. So it washes it out, which on vocals is what you want to avoid, unless it's very intentional, but on some things for an effect, it can work really well. So. We have this drone guitar here, which I'll play to you now in solo. Uh, and I'm using this just to put a bit of a foundation in at the very bottom of the track. So imagine like you have a house, you're trying to build a house. Before you build the walls, you want to have a nice concrete foundation. Uh, and I've got it very low down in the mix, but it's subtle enough that you notice it. Well, you don't notice it really when it's there, but if you were to remove it, it would sound weird. So I'll show you in a second, I'll mute it. But in the meantime, let's just listen to it in solo. So just drenched in reverb, does sound like a guitar, uh, but in order to try and reduce the pick noise and almost make it sound like a synth when you're listening to it in the context of the mix, um, or some droning note, uh, obviously I had the pickup on the neck to avoid uh, you know, a very clicky sound from, from the pick itself, uh, and then slathered it in reverb. Um, but anyway, let's listen to it now in context of the whole mix, and I'll first I'll leave it on and then I'll mute it and then you'll see what I mean by you can hear when it's taken away, but it is subtle. As you can hear, as soon as you drop it out, it's like, oh, wow, okay, there's there's something missing. There's a bit of space that it, it is filling in, and when you remove it, it feels a bit hollow. So that was the whole point behind putting the drone guitar in there. <laughs> 